Hey everybody, welcome back to some more Festo Collection unboxing videos. Today I have a nice treat for you. Today I'm unboxing The Night Before, which again is another movie I meant to watch. Like I haven't really got around to watching it. It came out in 2015 and I still haven't got around to watching it five years later. I was literally thinking, am I going to see it in cinemas? No. Am I going to get it on DVD? Eventually. No, I did. Got a part of the Festo Collection thinking, okay, I'm definitely going to watch it once I unbox it. I've just got around to unboxing it now. So about three years. Nearly three years coming up. But, you know, as I always say, it's better late than never, I suppose. <laughs> the way things are going in the world, I've got plenty of time to watch this one. <laughs> so I am going to watch it because it's got mixed reviews. Some people said it was great, other people said it was shit. So I'm like thinking, hmm, I'm optimistic, okay? As you can already tell, I watch anything that I can get my hands on. <laughs> so I always go with an open mind and I've been holding this off for quite a long time so for five years you bet I'm gonna watch it now that it's finally gonna be unveiled and all that so yeah finally got around to doing it so let's have a look at the front cover and then we just see the entire cast on the front so we have Seth Rogen and then we have Antti Mackie and then we have Joseph Gordon Levitt so again I do know about Seth Rogen I've I think he might have been in Avengers. I know David's the fake. Of course he was, Mark. I figured, I bet I can't bloody remember David. It's me. It takes me about three hours to order a takeaway because I can't decide what I want. <laughs> <laughs> and David trusts me with remembering stuff. So I, I, I want to say, yes, he was in the Avengers, but I don't want to say which character because I just know I might get it wrong. But I'm just saying he is in the Avengers. Yeah, I'm changing from maybe to is. I'm probably wrong, but who cares? But yeah, that's my role. Guess I'm going to... David's going to watch the thing. Well, technically, he wasn't. He was in this movie, Mark. You should have known that. So, uh, screw you, David. Okay, don't judge me. But I know Seth Rogen. So, yeah, that's all you need in this movie because he's the main actor. So, we have the white exclusive only a HMV sticker. The deal off a bit here, which I'm just going to like show you up close. Or actually, if you just zoom in on the camera, it'll be a lot better. Um, you could tell there's a bit of a little wear and tear. Like, it's lost its colour over the years <laughs> and it's nearly become transparent enough to see <laughs> to see most of the stuff which is pretty amazing so yeah that one really has been the worst one of, of what I've got over the years and then we all look at the back and we have basically all three of them again lying down don't know what they're doing but they're doing something intriguing and then we have uh, the funny cynical and warm in all the right ways by Total Film Really hope Total Film know what they're saying because sometimes they can say the wackiest things about the movie that are so bad. And then below them we have a bit of a bar description um, which is really quite weird how they're more blown up than the actual bar description itself. Normally that would have been the main thing. Like literally I wouldn't even know that was bar description because I thought it was a part of this. So yeah, there's the bar description I suppose. Not the best but hey ho, it is what it is. Oh and there, there's a spine which I don't think I've shown it off. Right, let's just peel this one off and we see the basic standard DVD cover which was not matching this one which is quite shameful. Uh, three epic best friends, oh no I've read that wrong, three best friends, one epic party. Special features we have the quotation from Total Film but also an extra one, Seth Rogen is the force of nature by Radio Times. Then below that we have special features which is the gag rule, the spirit of Christmas, drunkard Sanders on the block, midnight mass with Nana, Hold a uh, whale just a uh, juice, or say, I was gonna say justice then making of one epic party, and then on the bottom, get the Blu ray for deleted and extra scenes. You, <laughs> you just had to go there and say, Get the Blu ray. I think I have the Blu ray, but that's the precise the point. I really hate how they did that on some DVDs. Like, oh, you want more special features? Get the Blu ray one. And now, when you get the Blu ray one, or some of them, it will say, Oh, you want more stuff? Get the 4K one. It's like, why? I'm already paying £20 for the Blu-ray. Just give me more of my special features. So now I have to pay for a £400 4K player, £40 for the 4K, just to get that one scene. I'm thinking, wow, so amazing. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, I love my rants. It's good to be back. <laughs> new year, new start. Getting better at it. And also, there is the bar description. I'm going to zoom in because, in case you couldn't read the last of it on the slip cover one, here's a chance to read it on this one. And, you know, it's not perfect, but at least it's something, I suppose. Four images down here, which I can't really barely see. That one is only like a 
piece of Seth Rogen, so that doesn't really count. And then we have these images, so yeah, not really bad, okay? Quite good, at least they added something on now, I suppose. Just gonna get this open. Oh, look, <laughs> hey, I just noticed this one. Includes an ultraviolet. Oh, wow, how nice. It's not like I don't use them or nothing. <laughs> right, moment of truth. Oh my God, it has no artwork, only a title. Not really the best, you know, this could be a little more better. Add a bit more colors, add a bit more, you know, details. It's nicely added a title, but it's just plain and boring and I don't like it. Then we have the ultraviolet, which I have turned over so you guys can't see it. Uh, but overall, it's still a nice. But yeah, that has been the night before unboxing video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, please maybe a like, comment, and subscribe. And I think I might just damage this slip. Have I damaged this slip? I can't actually remember. Hold on. Okay, there we go. There we go. Why is it? Why is it so tight getting in there? For now, it's still pretty decent clutch. It's got to go in a sleeve anyway, so it's going to be protected for even further longer. But hey ho, that has been the unboxing of the night before. Hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, please maybe like, comment, and subscribe to on post notifications. And I'll see you in the next awesome video. But until then, take care.